Hello and welcome, it's TikTok time. Today we're talking about the Blue Bracelet Brigade. Apparently in the post-apocalyptic wasteland that is America after Trump has won the election, Democrats have decided to wear blue bracelets. The idea is they feel like they cannot openly be anti-Trump or pro-Democrat or pro-Kamala or whatever. So this will be their secret symbol. If you're unsure of who you can talk to, look for the blue wristband. It's a sign of respect and support for the many that may feel scared or unsafe. Never Trump. It's almost like Christians drawing like crosses or fish way back in the day. I'm sure they intend for it to be their thing like the red MAGA hat, but there's no way this is going to get that iconic. That being said, there are a bunch of people on TikTok talking about it, so let's check it out. So I hear that white women are using blue bracelets to signal to people oh, here to it is. black and brown women that we are safe. But I also um, want to put out there, while this is great for people to be able to kind of seek people out, that safety, safety. Um, from a safety. black and brown woman is their own assessment. How do they feel in my family? Oh, that's right. How, based on the You're going to be racistly imposing on them do by I saying, I'm safe. safe. You must think I'm safe. I'm safe woman. Black and brown women get to decide that I'm a yep. safe woman. Um, and I just wanted to put that out there. It's already racist, guys. Take them off. Is relative. Um, there may be many, many, many black and brown women who feel safe in my presence, and there may be some that I have encountered that do not. And that mm -hmm. is okay. I, uh, so um, I just want <laughs> I might to know a few. Safety is up to the person who is more vulnerable in a situation. Okay. So. Uh, good luck. Make lots of blue bracelets. Because resist. Hashtag resist, guys. So yeah, stuff like that. Blue bracelets, other blue things like articles of clothing. Sometimes people just wearing their Kamala merch, even though the election is over. For example, like this person. I'm going to keep wearing the hat. I'm going to keep wearing the hat. They got to wear their friggin' red hats for the last eight years. <laughs> I'm wearing the hat. Okay. Until a... At least until I get my blue bracelet. Gotta signal it. Listen, you can keep wearing your hat if you want. I don't care. If you, want, if you have like a Kamala Tim Waltz hat, you want to keep wearing it? Go ahead. Why not? A hat's a hat. Anyone need Jeez. a blue bracelet? Message me. She's very blue. I'm in charge. I won't ask a dime from you. <laughs> just give me your Eddie and I'll send it over to you. Free blue bracelets. I guess she's just doing it because she's down with the cause. I don't know why she uh, put herself in blue flames though. You know, blue burns harder than red, right? I'm sure many of us have already seen videos about using blue. You're, you're very purple, though, or pink, whatever this is. As safe individuals. Yeah. Um, and as somebody who lives in a red city and a red state, mm -hmm. um, if you, like me, do not feel safe presenting that... <laughs> it's already unsafe to wear it, guys. I recommend looking into becoming an anklet wearer. What? I don't know, guys. I've always found anklets to be kind of cringe myself. Or especially those, like, hip bracelets, you know, the ones that just kind of dangle over their hips. Like, like what the fuck? I, I don't get any of this stuff, man. As a woman of color... When Wait, I what? go out, you're a woman of color. No way to distinguish between the white ladies that support the bad man and the white ladies that support. Is this a troll? Freedom. <laughs> I can't figure that out. So if someone's wearing a safety <laughs> pin or a blue bracelet uh -huh. where I'm living, which is a huge red state, that is really an element of comfort for me. Okay, assuming not a troll, even though I'm pretty sure it's a troll. What race are you again? Are you, are you Jewish, maybe? You don't self-ID as white? Are you an octoroon? Like, I don't know. Like, what's, what's going on here? I got these blue uh, friendship-making bracelets at um, TJ oh. Maxx. Yeah. Um, also, I didn't see anyone wearing the blue bracelets that we were supposed to wear. I had this, so <laughs> I put this on. Uh-oh, you guys aren't wearing them. You gotta represent. It's not gonna work out if you don't do it. I can't be the only one doing this, can I? So I heard y'all looking for black-owned businesses. Dude, put a shirt on. To buy blue bracelets from. Guess what? What? Y'all want the denim blue, or y'all want the blue blue, okay? Because I'll get started right now. Nice. Right now, okay? But why are you naked? Modern Hippies Atlanta, we got the blue bracelets. I mean, to be Which fair, she's kind of cute, I don't mind. Do y'all want why are you naked? blue, or do y'all want blue blue? Y'all just let me know, because I can mix them up. Oh, and here she is. She got 3,000 orders. Hey, you know what? She's capitalizing. Good for her. We are in this thing making orders, okay? Yep, got to capitalize. Gotcha. Make some money. Yep, this will be simply just a way for people to uh, capitalize on this trend, make some money, like with masks or whatever else before it, and good for you, you get your bag. Except for that one lady earlier, she was like, oh, I'll just make it for free. Fucking idiot. Speaking to of the idiot. those manga people that think they're being funny for asking for a red one, especially <laughs> ones with the little red baseball caps on them, yeah, I can make those for you. I can uh -huh. also put handcuffs on them and grape whistles on them in case you need them, because with... Oh, uh, she's getting salty. She got trolled. She's salty. Well, the president, you decided to uh, 
vote back in again? Yeah. What about him? He's probably going to need it. The handcuffs are for him, you know, okay. But it's going to be at least four years. You it's going to be at least four years for that. Because, uh, Why is there a cat the dancing? Either, there, honey. Why is there a cat Sorry. dancing in the bottom? I mean, but yeah, sure, I can protect you, help protect you right on, you mm -hmm. know? Oh, she's mad. She's mad that the internet found out what she was doing and she's getting trolled. Also, why do these people always have the weirdest glasses, man? I guess they really want to look the part, you know? And seriously, love my new blue heart oh, tattoo. Oh, they're getting tattoos now? Okay. This is like so hard to okay. it's on the side. You're tattooing yourselves but now. It's really cute. I love it. I mean, at least it's not as bad as that, like, that one woman who had the giant Trump tattoo on her fucking forehead. Like, that was ridiculous. Even though Trump won, that's still fucking ridiculous, dude. But these people are tattooing themselves now? This is getting into, like, weird self-branding quasi-cult territory, you know? Ha, oh, music. Yeah, see? Look at that. She had it on her finger. And she, yeah, it's just weird. Are those stamps or the actual, yeah. Wait, is that Disney font resist? Oh, I'm about, to, I'm about to die of fucking cringe right here, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if those are stamps or if they're actual tattoos, but like, it's getting to be a little bit strange, isn't it? It's getting to be a bit too much. So as a white woman who 1000% voted for Kamala Harris and I can tell. will stand and continue Why is it always crazy glasses guys, with these people? How the fuck do I make sure you know that I'm one of the good ones and I'm not one of these stupid <laughs> ass bitches that decided to well, vote for Donald Trump. there's a whole bunch of ways. I know we're doing the whole blue bracelet thing, but yep. like, I need something right now. Like, I need you guys to know that that wasn't me. It Draw a giant me. blue heart and on your face. So, yeah. Cover your body in DNC logos. Then they'll all know. This stuff is cringe, guys. Why can't you just be normal? Why can't you just like, get on with life, you know? I am experiencing this unfamiliar feeling uh, and I wondered okay. if anyone else has been feeling this way. So I'm at the dog park nope. and I feel so mistrustful. <laughs> like, I don't know who's on my side and Paranoia. who's on the other side. Pair of fucking I, noia. I mean, I know we're going to start wearing the blue bracelets and that, I think that <laughs> will help. But like, does anyone else feel that? I'm going to buy blue bracelets just mistrust. to troll people now. Like, I'm just looking at everyone going are you part of why this happens are you a safe person like Jeez. i can only imagine how the the marginalized communities this are is, feeling this is right kind now. of insane guys and i also don't want people to be looking at me thinking oh white woman yeah. she definitely <laughs> voted for him you know like, what? i'm looking at you thinking something right now lady feeling. is anyone else experiencing that yeah we are at the point where they're starting to like sniff out their neighbors and be like who's the traitor who's the enemy it's like she's playing a real life game of among us Dude, the fucking glasses. The it's always the glasses. Town in Texas, yeah. Wearing my Harris Wall sweater. Okay, <laughs> congratulations. Like badass. <laughs> As she lost, but now we're the fucking Rebel Alliance. <laughs> and I will wear her name. Oh God. Wherever I go in this tiny bunk ass town. Why don't you move if you hate there? Uh, I did get some skanky ass looks from some skanky little Trump hoes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I just smiled. And I was the cutest one there. <laughs> I'm sure you fucking were. Jesus. That's stupid. That's. It is pretty stupid. Yeah, this is this is pretty stupid. But, um, it just feels cool that we're the Rebel Alliance now, and they can just go. Well, what's fuck off. what's really funny about the whole Rebel Alliance anyway. thing? <laughs> what's funny is uh, what? the what? men would smile at me, and then they'd look down at my shirt and go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And when I was checking out, there was a black woman right next to me. Yeah. So I felt like I was standing side by side. <laughs> He's racially like, profiling her. Saw my shirt or saw me or anything. But if she did, she probably felt a little better being in this ass shit fuck town. <laughs> Move away if you hate that place. I come from a small town too that I hate. I moved. But yeah, the whole Rebel Alliance thing is really interesting because the leftists for like 15 years now, like longer, I think, they've been, they've been positioning themselves as these counterculture, like, we're the rebels, we're against the power. But it's been very hard for them to actually claim that, considering how much institutional strength they've had. Now, at this point, you might have actually hit that tipping point where it's going to go the other way because the Republicans control so much of the American government. So the left might actually become the rebels again. Who knows? But even the way she phrased it in there, she was like, it's so cool, we're the rebels now. You've been saying you're the rebels since I was in university. That's like 10 years ago at this point. So to turn around and say, we're the rebels now, like it's a new change, means that you are stupid or you guys were lying this whole time or whatever the fuck. 
It's day seven of the resistance. <laughs> Speaking of the fucking rebels. Oh my god. Oh my god, the song. Yell at them or fight no, I'm gonna get copyright stuck. No. Between them and the person that they're yelling at. Well, that sounds great. Quiet protest. Quiet fucking protest. Day seven of the resistance. <laughs> These people are delusional, guys. All right, y'all. As you can see, what? I just got back what? from the Taylor Swift concert here in Indianapolis. <laughs> Swifties for hair. My shirt and hat. Yeah. It was non-stop compliments from the Swifties. I got my friendship bracelet. Oh, look at all those friendship bracelets, dude. Not Swifties a blue one though. Fired up and ready to let Kamala Harris in a couple days. Let's do this. Well, this is from before the election. Oh, it didn't happen, dude. I'm sorry. I'm here speaking to you from the future. It didn't happen. I hope you painted or dyed all those bracelets blue, dude. You're gonna need them. I got all of your great ideas. I think okay. I came up with something um, pretty universal. Um, sure. Pretty neutral. What was um, the source of them? It is the shape of home plate in baseball with the word safe in it. Safe. Um, that shape is a shape um. that is easily recognized as symboling home. Um, um, okay. And the word safe is um, indicates gonna... that you know when the runners are coming in, they're either yeah, I get it. called safe or they're out. This is going to be the this new is a way thing. This to indicate to others that we are all right. A safe just place start fucking branding yourselves really like idiots. This is about values and, and, and morals <laughs> and ethics. But who you um, vote for is neutral, political. Because believe also, it or not, values and morals are political. There. Anybody who wants to get this can take their own artistic license with it and design it however they want. If they want to make it more masculine, more feminine, um, put the baseball stitches in it, just put some flowers around it. Do, you know, you can do whatever you want with it. It's a very simple Can I put a swastika so on it? Can cater it <laughs> oh, to God. themselves. Ideally, we want this on our left wrist. Um, I'm a Reiki master, so I understand Why? the energy and the energy associated with tattoos and placement of tattoos. Oh my God. Um, anything on this your right arm like... or things you want to bring into yourself. Just wait a second. Anything on your left arm is what you want to put out into the world. This is some hippie so I shit, isn't I it? I think we want this on our left arm. A Reiki practitioner. Reiki is a pseudoscientific form of energy healing, a type of alternative medicine originating in, in Japan. Palm healing, hands-on healing. Universal energy is transferred through the palms. Okay, so this is like the old style of anti-vax hippie type. Back before the rightoids became anti-vaxxers, the leftoids kind of had, held a monopoly on it because they were like the all-organic, everything natural, we're all hippies. Like that sort of shit. And I guess she's just a holdover from that previous era. Okay, I understand. Just more bullshit! Alright, that's all I've got for the Blue Bracelet Brigade. If you see people wearing these blue bracelets or they have these tattoos or whatever, you know what's going on. It's kind of strange, man. You guys gotta chill out. Not everything's political and stop making your politics the entirety of your identity, okay? That about does it for me. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Oh, also, if you're watching this on release, I think I'm speaking to Smash JT over on his channel as soon as this comes out. So click on the link on screen and I'll see you there. Come by and say hi. I love you.